Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Victoria 2. So we've just done Manifest Destiny, we have claims, or not claims really, but cores, just outright cores on Mexico. So if we wanted to just take their land, we could. Now trying to decide which land to take, I really don't know how you go about doing that. Um, I'm assuming that if you conquer land, that um, you don't expel all the population, but then again... I'm assuming we're also going to have culture issues and stuff. Maybe maybe we would be better off just taking like really low population areas so that we have less tension or something or Is there any way to see like how profitable this this land is so that I can determine kind of where we can make the most money? RGO output Ooh, they've got iron in them hills. Now hold on, when I click RGO output, why why are some of these orange? And and the rest of it's all dark. Is it just showing like really important resources type thing? I don't get it. But iron, the iron. Iron's valuable, right? Let's go to trade iron. It's worth it's not in high demand. Hmm. Well, it's worth more than coal and okay, sulfur's worth quite a bit. Is there any more sulfur out here? I think we got like one spot that makes sulfur. I don't remember where it was, but I, I remember seeing it at one point. There it is. Um. Cattle? I guess we go for iron. This is the... Okay, so this is Nevada, Utah. We're at full maintenance, and I'm pretty sure that our army is just better than theirs outright. Is there a way for me to check their strength? Military strength, 15. Soldiers and artillery, 6.371. So this is... Um, yeah, I, I highly doubt they have an army that can contest us, but... Just in case, let's go see if we can figure out how the ledger works. National ranking. Social reforms, population... Oh, look at that. It's only, like, 11 pages. Huh. Country population. Chinese Empire has 676,000. That is a huge population. We have half a million slaves, though, so ha! All right. Well, yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna do it. I mean, we're at full maintenance, right? Du the dudes are happy. Let's just declare war on Mexico and see what happens. I've decided that I wanted to attack over the iron, which is in over here. It is Nevada, Utah. Let's declare war. Acquire core, Nevada, Utah. Twenty-seven war score. Sounds good. It'll go. It'll gain us prestige. Now, calling allies. Okay, I'm going to wait another 14 days, because I want to improve relations with uh, Colombia one more time. The Anti-Slavery Society, we will leave them be. We have, right now, four diplomacy points. Ooh, look at that liberal boost. Ugh. Is that good or bad? So we're at 175. Let's increase relations again. I'm just, I'm really hoping that this doesn't cause a schism between us. My wife is in Colombia right now. This just still just says maybe. Okay, we'll acquire the core in Nevada, Utah. Let's call in allies, sure. I guess we'll see what happens. You've declared war on Mexico. 
President, we are not surprised to learn that Liberia has honored their the call. They are like our Mexican-American war. Great. All right, let's check our commanders. I remember we had one guy who was really good. These are the armies that we have. There he is. Attack plus one, morale, organization, reconnaissance. You're pretty crap. Can't fire him, can we? He's an intelligent poet. George Harrison. Garbage. Ulysses Hooker. Attack and defense. A little bit slow. Morale, organization, speed. Morale, 83% morale. Wow. Here's the guy. William Sprague. Four attack. And then Henry Beatty. Three attack. I'm going to say that it's going to be William Sprague and uh, he's uncommonly young. <laughs> All right. So here's Samuel Brown. Oh, shoot. You know what? If I change him now, I think we'll end up Losing prestige, don't we? So we want... What? Where's, where is the guy? William Sprague. Oh, shoot. Did I look at it wrong? Is William Sprague an, an admiral? Damn, he is. Well, having a, a four attack bonus on your navy doesn't seem that great, actually. So it looks like we're looking at the generally good guy to attack. We'll lose prestige loss if we unassign the current leader from this unit while at war. See, apparently you can... Oh, and you know, we've got, we've got Henry Beatty. I should have appointed before the war. I'll just have to remember to do that differently next time. So you've got one minor penalty, you've got some experience penalty, and then you're the guy that's really good. Assuming that we're on the attack. So we'll play on speed three for the purposes of the war. We're not surprised to learn that Venezuela has honored the alliance. Uruguay. Colombia has honored the alliance. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. So it's not like in EU4 where multiple, like, three-way alliances will always honor the defender. Colombia has decided to turn on Mexico, which is hilarious. All right, let's go fun. Let's go have some fun. No, I'd be, how do you see this the balance a little bit better? And also, apparently, you have to hover over the pip. You can see when they'll arrive. Hover over the animation. I usually was hovering over this, but you got to go over the thing and then... Right down here, you can see how long it'll take him to get there. Now, the war goal is, um... That one. And we should probably try to get to him before they can get their organization up. But at the same time... At the same time, I feel like I should just... Probably just go occupy their lands. You know, like, whatever we can get our hands on and just go sit on it and start the sieges. Major discovery. Okay, we got romanticist music. That one, only one prestige for that. We're third in prestige now. Hostile occupation of Portland. So they have moved up into our colonies up there. I think we'll have to respond to that. Henry Beatty with his all-infantry. I think I'm going to uh, have him meet up with this army and we'll rebalance him a bit. In fact, let's uh, reorganize these two units. It won't let me because they're moving at different speeds. And you continue to ignore that. Holy sight, disturbed. Things have gone from bad to worse. 
while in pursuit of two locals suspected of murdering a colonial official, have happened to disturb a shrine of some importance to local religious religiosity. Natives in the area are infuriated over the perceived lack of respect for their religion. Um. Uh, all pops in Idaho where does not belong to dominant religion will gain militancy, or... God. New newspaper. War between the USA and Mexico on 14 January 1844. The USA announced that a state of war now exists between them and Mexico. Indeed it does. Yeah, so you organize these two units. You know, I really don't have very good balance between my armies at all. At all. And it's and it's all because of this auto appointed leaders thing. I wonder if there's a way to work around that by like creating a new unit and then putting someone else in charge and messing it up that way. We're suffering a little bit of attrition while I do this, but that's okay. Alright, so we've got 15k. Now this one's kind of more balanced. I like that. Samuel Brown in charge. Eh. He's not the best, but... Alright, Henry Beatty. Now has a pretty good balanced army. And... Adam Butler has just kind of a mixed, mixed bag. So let's take Henry Beatty. And have him go travel north to take on the Mexicans. And also to protect, what is this state? Oregon. We have faith in you, Henry Beatty. I guess speed four is fine while we wait. Something, something, religion, blah, blah, blah. Oh, they have sixth army here. Maybe we go fight that. Yeah. We'll arrive in Phoenix. How come your your animation isn't doing anything? We can get there by the May 1st. And then we'll chase you into Phoenix. So, Henry Beatty. Great at attack. Great morale. Pretty good with organization. Yeah, you guys are going to be going on by the 17th. We'll be there on the 13th. War is brewing. No leader. Alright, back down to speed 3. May 17th, May 13th, here we come. It's gonna happen. May 13th, boom. The Battle of Phoenix. They did put somebody in charge. They've got Miguel Lopez de Santa Ana. Attack and defense plus one. Uh, we did take a crossing penalty, but we've got our leader attack plus three because Henry Beatty's a badass when he's on offense. We've got quite a bit of infantry, only a little bit of artillery. I expect this is just gonna be a complete stomp. Well, the whole war, really. We gain a little bit of prestige, tiny bit of war exhaustion, and we killed everything. We're going to continue to chase down armies, I think. We might lose the siege before we can get there. I, I didn't really uh, position my troops properly before starting the war. And yet, our war score is at 2%. Now we can add war goals. Another 10 prestige if we acquire this war goal. So, what would the total cost be? Total military strength 15. Yeah, we had 26 on our own, but. I think we can probably take a couple cores, right? Let's try a couple. There's no infamy involved, so we'll just take California. We have decided to expand our war. <laughs> we had tried to be reasonable. Now they will pay the, the price for their lack of vision. Okay. 
Mm, I'd love to clean that army up. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. You can occupy Oregon. Oh, and he did manage to escape. We'll be gone by the 29th. We can be there on the 29th. Glorious conquest. And just because we're at war doesn't mean we can't be building uh, more railroads. Now, I'm not really sure why, but... Oh, you know what? It's probably because of the mountains. Yeah, need level 3 to get the mountains through... Uh, to get railroad over the mountains. Or under them. Probably going to take a crossing penalty here. And they got Miguel Lopez in charge. We have discovered aerial, bacterial, and antiseptic principle. Population growth, cool. And elections have started. While we're winning a war. That's going to be great. I hope. Unless they're really upset with me for declaring war. Currently an election being held. Yep, we don't want to pass those things. We're in third place for prestige. Ooh, first and second are tied at 181. We're only 10 behind. If we win this war, we might take our take the lead in first place for prestige. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.